If we consider the Mediterranean Sea as a huge restaurant, this animal is surely its most notable customer. Among the animals who live here, marine mammals are at the top of the food chain. To know their habits, where they live and what they eat, it's essential to understand the Mediterranean ecosystem. A system that involves everyone, including humans. So the diet of such a big predator has something to do with our lives, but how? The cetaceans, big marine animals living in the Mediterranean Sea, are divided into two suborders, ones with teeth and ones without. The list of toothed whales called odontocetes includes dolphins, porpoises, and bigger animals like beaked whales and the sperm whale. Our toothless fin whale is a mysticete and feeds on zooplanktonic organisms like krill. The fin whale, the sperm whale, the bottlenose dolphin, the short-beaked common dolphin, the striped dolphin, the long fin pilot whale, Rizzo's dolphin, and Cuvier's beaked whale are the main cetaceans living in the Mediterranean. Where do these animals live? What do they eat? What do we know of their habitats? Answering these questions and many others is the starting point for those who study marine mammals. What species we have uh, in a certain areas? And what are they doing in that area? And, and are they doing well in that area? If we can get all of these questions answered, then we will know more uh, about cetaceans in the long term. How do we monitor marine mammals? How do we recognize one individual from the other? The answer is in the method, the basics of research. The method needs tools and technology has supplies effective ones. With these tools, researchers can locate animals, hear them without being seen, and once approaching them, take photos. Mark recapture method relies on taking uh, a series of pictures in two different events or seasons. And this way uh, you can actually identify individuals in your um, population. And through that you can start building up information such as knowing more about gender, knowing more about their uh, uh, group fidelity, site fidelity. Nature photography is not a simple activity. This image often appears in the beginner's photo album. Unfortunately, it tells us very little about the animal's identity. This photo is more interesting. We can compare the dolphin's dorsal fin, like the one in this picture, to a human face. There are all the elements we need to be able to distinguish one individual from another. Spots, fin shape, and other details. Photographing an animal is like taking a human's fingerprint. Identifying it in different places becomes easier. Like in this case, these are two photos of a sperm whale. One was taken in August off the Sardinian coast and the other in November of the same year in the Ligurian Sea. They may look like pictures of two different animals. Thanks to photo identification, we know that they are two pictures of the same animal that between August and November have moved. Sometimes the camera is even more valuable. For example, when it's difficult to observe the animal, like the Mediterranean monk seal. The monk seal is one of the most endangered marine mammals. In ancient times, it was different. The monk seal was very common. Aristotle talked about it. The animal lives far from humans in isolated coastal areas, like this one. Samos, a Greek island in the eastern Aegean Sea. Here, like other Greek islands, there is a seal community. 
in this area we are fortunate to have some of the last remaining uh, populations of this uh, highly endangered species. Approaching these animals is not easy. It's necessary to leave everything that makes noise at home and to play the role of a wild animal. Means of transportation like this one is perfect. Apart from the visual surveys that we do using kayak uh, techniques and diving uh, surveys. Even with extreme caution, studying the monk seal is very difficult work. But luckily, technology helps. These images are possible thanks to the camera trap. A camera trap is a remote camera with movement sensors or infrared rays. It helps researchers to film animals without disturbing their peaceful world. Monitoring this species is hard work, but it's necessary for its preservation. The seal is an endangered animal for many reasons, hunting, fishing, tourism, and pollution. How do we preserve this species? Preservation means knowledge. Studying marine mammals is essential to their conservation, but also for our role on Earth. Humans still have a card to play. That is to follow the principles of the ecosystem approach involving policy, economy, science, and citizen communities. Through which tools? Using monitoring programs in order to achieve the good environmental status of the Mediterranean Sea.